Welcome to the DriveMG tutorial for fixing error 8000 FFFF. This is a general error that most people get when trying to run DriveImage and their VSS is not set up properly on their system. We're going to start DriveImage and attempt to make a backup. We're going to create the backup of our eDrive, turn off multi-file option, and turn the compression to fast, and lastly rename the backup to a date so if we need the file later we'll know when it was created. Upon starting the backup, we receive this error, 8000 FFFF. It will then prompt us to ask us if we want to proceed. We do not. This will result in a backup that does not function. We're going to do a few things with the command prompt, so close the software, click Start, Run, and type in CMD, and this will bring up the Windows command prompt. I have a list of commands that we will need to run, and that list will be available on our blog at runtime3.org slash blog. We're going to change the directory to the Windows System32 directory. This is where we'll need to run our commands from. The first command is net stop VSS. This stops the current shadow copy service. The next command is net stop SWRV. This stops the shadow copy provider service. Now we're going to register a few DLLs to the OS. The first is the OLE32.dll. Next is the vss underscore ps dot dll. When you register these commands, you will see that they have registered successfully. We are now going to register the vss program to the operating system. Now we will go back to registering DLLs, and the next two DLLs will use the I switch, which calls the DLL install. These next two are swprv.dll and eventcls.dll. Make sure to put in an I and not a 1 as I have, or else you'll get an error. This is true for all the DLLs. If you get an error, go back and check and make sure that what you entered is correct. If you do not want to type in the same command over and over, simply press up on your keyboard and it will fill in the previous command. You can then backspace over the DLL and write in the new one. The next DLL is ES.DLL followed by STROV.DLL. If you're using Windows 2003, you will need to register vssui.dll. If you're on Windows XP or Vista, this will simply result in an error. There are only three DLLs left, and depending on which version of XML is on your system, you will only get one of these to work. They are msxml.dll, which registered successfully in my Windows XP machine. Then there's msxml3.dll, which registered successfully, and msxml4.dll, which resulted in a failure. We now need to net start VSS and net start SWPRV. That is all there is to it. You can now close the command prompt, start drive image, and make your backup without any issues. Shadow copy will always work now, and you should never have to do this again. Remember, we do not provide any type of support for the free version of drive image. If you need support, please purchase the commercial version, and we will be more than happy to help you with your problems. We have started our backup and you will see the shadow has been created successfully and the software is working correctly. Please visit our website for our other data recovery tools at runtime.org. Thank you.